All right, VJ Navy Diver here. Um, just at the front of my my house here in beautiful Victoria. It's February, and uh, I finally got around to looking at uh, putting my TV, which you can see right there. It's a higher 48-inch LED TV that I bought at uh, Costco for 450 bucks. It's actually uh, for the price, a very good uh, monitor. Um, I didn't want to go expensive because it's something I'll be beating around and uh, hauling around in the back of my truck over here. So I didn't want to spend too much money on a uh, monitor. And I've used this for about uh, five or six gigs and it's uh, been working very well for me. But now that I've built my DJ facade, um, I needed a a stand in which to put my mount my TV instead of putting it on the DJ table table so uh, one of the uh, uh, people on the DJ forums uh, showed me how to put on a uh, uh, a rack basically onto a uh, standard speaker tripod and that's uh, just what I've done so what I did was I went and bought one of these um, wall brackets it's an ultra slim wall bracket that i got from amazon.ca um, the one that he recommended was on an american site and of course the shipping was going to be too expensive so basically the stand looks like this very similar to the one that was uh, posted online and then i uh, also bought two of these um, O brackets or whatever you want to call it, ring mounts or whatever you want to call them and then I uh, simply drilled out the hole that was uh, in here because it was too small for these uh, for these bolts and uh, using some titanium bits I basically uh, drilled drilled them wider and now it fits perfectly and you can see you got the bubble there and uh, it's mounted on now this is a one and three eighths inch uh, pole mount and these were one and a half inch mounts so what I ended up having to do is I just used a little bit of leather in there just to uh, fill the space and to make it uh, sturdy and uh, you can actually see that it's quite quite strong so I'm just in the process of uh, mounting these back plates onto the back of the TV set and uh, then I'll take the uh, base stand off and then we'll mount it up and see what it looks like on the tripod I think it's going to work good. There we have it, as per the instructions. I uh, mounted the rack holder on the back of the TV. And then what I'll do is I'll pop these screws here, which will take the base out. And then we can mount it on top of the, uh, the railing that you see right there. There's all the bits and pieces left over. Most of these are for mounting on a wall, which of course you don't need. So all you need really are the basic uh, mounts. Here was the instruction set, and uh, which I followed to the T, and it looks like it's going to work pretty good. So on this um, particular bracket, you actually have a, the option to be able to slant the uh, TV forward on the stand. And uh, so what you have here is this pivoting bracket right here. Um, because I want it just uh, straight up and down on the uh, on the stand, I'm just going to lock those in place so that they don't flop forward or anything. You can, uh, depending on how high it is, you, you may want to tilt it down a little bit just because of uh, uh, making it easier for the crowd to see it from, uh, from their vantage point. But we'll try it like this and see what it looks like. So we'll lock it into place. So there you have it. The uh, TV stand is now, or the TV is mounted to the stand, and it's uh, actually quite sturdy. There's uh, very little flex in it, which is good. I've got the tripod so that the uh, the forward leg is is forward. That way, the uh, the TV can't fall forward and land on anybody if, uh, if the stand gets knocked down. And you can actually see how I've got it uh, straight up and down, uh, which I showed you earlier. Uh, you can actually cant it so that the, uh, the flat screen uh, cants down a little bit. So uh, when you have it stretched up to the seven foot level, you could uh, 
see it a little bit better from the dance floor or from the uh, the back of the room so what I'll do is I'll stretch it up higher so you can see it um, I'll pause it here and put it up higher because I don't want to knock it over while I'm uh, trying to film so there you have it it's at the uh, second from the highest setting and uh, you can see how high it is relative to the uh, garage door opening and I think you can see my reflection in the mirror in the, uh, in the face plate there but you can actually see that it's quite sturdy and I think it'll look good so what I'm going to do is build a scrim for it and uh, it's a black scrim, I think, just to uh, match the color of the whole thing. And uh, I think this is going to do nicely for uh, for my music videos. I'm going to probably get a second TV or a second monitor, and uh, that way I can have one monitor on each side of the booth. It looks really good, I think. I just there's my six foot six sun. So you can see that it is quite high, and uh, I think it's going to work. So this is VJ Navy Diver. Thank you for watching. Uh, much appreciated to the gentleman online that uh, showed me this neat little stand and uh, hopefully some of you can uh, take advantage of this good idea as well.